want you to have a better life. I believe as we choose, we can have a better life. The better life that God wants you to have is paved with miracles. This is The Place for Miracles. Hi, everybody. Welcome to The Place for Miracles. I'm reading from Acts 10 and verse 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost, that is the Holy Spirit, and with power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Now that's the Jesus that I know, the one who has miracles. If you are in need of a miracle, stay tuned right where you are because I'm going to have a time of special prayer over you. In fact, I'm just going to allow the Holy Spirit to move freely. He, wherever Jesus went, the Holy Spirit was there with him. And the Holy Spirit is with you and with me today. I'm, I'm uh, reading uh, testimonies now, Gwendolyn in Palm Coast, Florida. Now pay particular attention because if I mention something that has attacked you, I'm going to stop and pray. Uh, Gwendolyn in Florida says, I've been having problems with elevated blood pressure for some time. And I call the Abundant Life Prayer Group for prayer. And I want you to know that the next morning after you all prayed, my blood pressure was back down to normal and it has remained normal and I am praising God. Now, this winter, a lot of people have been facing problems with blood pressure. I've had lots of prayer requests, even on Facebook, uh, concerning, uh, uh, concerning uh, people who have need of prayer in their blood pressure. And so if that's you in the authority of the name of Jesus, I come against this satanic attack in your blood pressure. There is a level that your blood pressure is supposed to be depending upon your age and so on. In the name of Jesus, I set my faith with you right now. Just like we prayed for Gwendolyn, I come against this blood pressure problem. And, uh, and I include also any kind of hypertension, okay? Blood pressure or any type of blood sugar problem in the authority of the name of Jesus, whether it be too high or too low. In the name of Jesus, I set my faith with you in Jesus' name. I believe God for a healing. I rebuke it. And I command the devil to loose his grip off that in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. If you feel like you need further prayer, call us at the Abundant Life Prayer Group at 918-495-7777. This ministry was founded by my father back in 1947. It's a healing ministry. It has been all through these years. It remains so today. And testimonies of healing just keep coming. Like Deborah, who's in South Bend, Indiana. I've been a partner a long time and my friend Mary needed prayer. The doctors said it appeared she had kidney cancer. Thank you so much for praying for her. Now the tests reveal no cancer and also no need for dialysis and they are praising God. <laughs> if you have a situation with your kidneys, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke this kidney problem and I pray for you to be healed. And I send the word to you according to Psalm 107 verse 20. I love that scripture. Uh, Psalm 107 verse 20 says, He sent His word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Well, how do I send the word? Here it comes. In the name of Jesus, I send the word to you right now. And when you call the Abundant Life Prayer Group, that's what the prayer group prayer partners do. They not only listen to your prayer request, but they pray and they send the word to you. That's 918-495-7777. Then I got this from Linda up in uh, Ohio. After you prayed, Richard, my husband received healing in his feet. And I tell all my friends now to expect a miracle. Well, Linda, I'm expecting a miracle too, and I praise God for your husband's testimony. Now, there may be somebody watching right now, you have a problem with your feet, or a foot, or a toe, or something like that, or blood circulation, or your Achilles tendon, or your heel, or something that's gone wrong with your foot. In the authority of Jesus, uh, yes, a, a word of knowledge. Someone watching right now, you've, uh, you, you're on the verge of gangrene and God's healing you right now in the name of Jesus. Every foot be healed. 
Be healed in your feet, be healed in your toes, be healed in the circulation that goes down into your feet, be healed in your, in your heel, in the arch of your foot, in the ball of your foot, and especially in your Achilles tendon in the authority of Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you need further prayer, call us at the prayer group. Now, there's someone you're having a heart palpitations right now. It's been bothering you for at least two or three days, and you're being healed right now. You say, well, Richard, how do you know that? I know it because God's giving me a word of knowledge, and that word of knowledge is penetrating what the devil is trying to do. So in Jesus' name, I rebuke that condition, and I command it to come out, and I expect a miracle further prayer call the prayer group. Here is another uh, testimony I'll share with you. This comes, uh, this comes from Betty in Port Orange, Florida. Thank you so much for praying for my mother. She is 93 and she is home from the hospital since you prayed. She's had a very serious gallbladder infection with gallstones and uh, they had been consulting all the specialists, but thank you for your prayers. It was discovered that after you prayed, she must have passed the gallstones because the surgery was not necessary, which is good news. She's now uh, being treated with, uh, with uh, antibiotics. She's responding very well. She's eating again, able to tolerate food. <laughs> I like that. And came home and is in good spirits. You know, someone may be watching right now, your mom or your dad has had a problem. I just uh, prayed with a man yesterday uh, who said his, his mother uh, is, I guess, must be in her, in her 80s now, or late 70s or early 80s, has, been, has come down with COVID. In the name of Jesus, I pray over your mom and dad. Many of you have elderly parents, and I, I rebuke the devil's attack, and I pray for your family, your parents, to have long life and serve God with their heart, soul, mind, and strength. I pray over your mom like I prayed over Betty's mom. And I believe God and over your dad in the name of Jesus. And, uh, and those of you who are younger may have grandparents that are still living. I pray over them in the name of Jesus. Lauren is up in New York and uh, uh, has been asking us to pray concerning a lump in her breast. And they are, appeared, appeared to be cancerous. Well, they found now since we prayed, there's no cancer in her body. She is praising God and we are joining her in the name of Jesus. Poughkeepsie, Poughkeepsie, New York. <laughs> uh, now, ladies, any of you who have had a difficulty, a, a tumor, anything like that in the breast, in the name of Jesus, now that's the ticket right there. In the name of Jesus, I come against this satanic attack I rebuke the lump, the mass, whatever it is. I come against it now in Jesus' name. And I believe God with you for a healing. I'm sending that word to you. If you need further prayer, call us at the Abundant Life Prayer Group at 918-495-7777. And here's a call from Mississauga, Ontario. That's up in the Toronto area. Uh, the last time I was in Toronto, uh, I stayed at a hotel right there in Mississauga, just out, out by the airport. Uh, I've had pain in my right hip. It goes down my leg, even into my ankles. It's been very painful. I was watching you on television. You began to pray. You gave a word of knowledge, and I received that word of knowledge. God bless you, and thank you for your prayers. Hallelujah. And I set my faith with you. If you've had pain in your hips, or pain that goes down your legs, or into your ankles, or your feet, uh, or, or even into your toes, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke this. I come against sciatica. In the name of Jesus, every pain come out. Satan, loose your grip. And I pray over you right now. I believe God for your healing in the authority of Jesus' name. Whatever it is, if it's your head, if it's your feet, if it's an organ in your body, if it's your, your, if it's your tailbone, if it's uh, your, your lungs, if it's your stomach, if it's uh, your back, whatever it is, right now in the authority of Jesus' name, while the anointing is flowing, I pray over you. I come against this satanic thing. This Bible that I'm reading says that Jesus was anointed by the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing. Do you hear that? Healing. And I send that healing word to you right now in the name of Jesus. And I am expecting a miracle. One woman said, Richard, you taught me to expect a miracle. I'm teaching you, expect 
a miracle. Get your expectors out and expect a miracle in Jesus' name. And while you're expecting, while you're praying, while you're believing, while you're receiving the words that I'm giving you, here is my daughter Jordan to sing, and Lindsay will join me in just a few minutes. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me, let me be singing when the evening comes. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh, oh, my soul, worship Him. Friends and partners of Mission Revive Pakistan and partners of Dr. Richard Robert Ministry, we would like to uh, share this vision that uh, the women in South of Punjab, the widows, we have a compassionate heart for them, and as Dr. Richard has heart for them, and we are providing them this uh, uh, this uh, good. Um, <clears throat> We are preparing uh, for 100 women in 20 different villages in the south of Punjab area. And uh, each um, would cost 150 to 160 US dollars. One good. Hello, Dr. Richard. Brother Mike, as you're seeing me, that I'm taking this bag. This is really heavy bag. It's, it's not easy to lift up this bag. This is full of little stuff with rice, with spices, with flour, uh, with other things. It's not easy. And it's all because of you. You have helped us that we have to bring these things. 
as you are seeing me to take this bag, heavy bag, and to this family. These are the boxes that we promise that we will give to the infants because the animals are gone in this town and we are providing them this milk so that kids can survive. We need more milk so that uh, the kids can survive for another weeks and months. Um, thank you so much for your seed. Thank you so much for your love for these precious people. God bless you. Richard, uh, this is the second place where I am uh, to meet the need of people. As you can see, uh, that this is a flower that we are giving because of the flood situation in, in South Punjab, Pakistan. Uh, these are the food that we are giving, the food baskets that we are giving. It's very heavy. I, I have difficulty to hold it. It's very, very heavy. Um, but we thank God and we thank you for your partnership and for your generous care and love for the nation of Pakistan. You are truly a difference maker and uh, visionary uh, for reaching the people in Pakistan. Thank you for your seed, sir. God bless you abundantly as you have sown your seed to meet the need of uh, these precious souls. We have a number of families here. As you are seeing me, these families, uh, this is just one region this is one place even in this city we have 10 different places that we are going and we have made these list and it's across the barriers religion barrier we are providing to the christians and to the locals and to others and you understand what i mean um, we are providing them the grocery stuff as you're seeing it's providing by richard robin ministries community development program dr robin thank you so much for helping them being with them encouraging them god bless your burning pleasure thank you Join us in sharing the gospel and God's healing power around the world. Call now, 1-844-828-1412. Your gift will transform lives for generations to come. God promises it will produce a harvest in your life too. Call 1-844-828-1412. Thank you for your generous support. Oh my goodness, Lindsay. Isn't that uh, my, exciting? My heart just almost comes out of my chest. I'm so happy to see. And that's our man, Pastor Silas Pastor in Silas. Pakistan. Yep, that's right. uh, Lindsay, every one of those people receiving all those things you just saw have the gospel preached to them. Yeah. They have the gospel preached to them. And uh, it's making such a difference with what they're going through in that nation. It, it, to top things off, they had a lot of flooding. I mean, as if they weren't already experiencing things to top it off they had a lot of flooding and to be able you know a goat so many times you know out here in Oklahoma you can just kind of drive to a farm and see goats not there and goats provide so much for so many families and we are able to now begin to rebuild those areas by bringing in the goats by yeah. bringing in the the bags full of flour and rice and spices and and you know it's just the right thing to and do and the milk and the milk they, oh they thank god milk. for that so we thought you'd like to see that yes so praise the lord and, and when you when you sow when you when you donate into this ministry you're helping this kind of outreach uh, pastor silas and 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 the team there are doing such a wonderful job of, of reaching these people and Lin, lindsay the late mahatma gandhi once said that not even god would come to a hungry man except in the form of, of bread. bread. You, you, you meet people where they are, you meet them with their need. You also give them the gospel. Mm -hmm. And they listen because you're giving them something that, well, that is of value. You're showing, you're showing the love you of Jesus. Care. You're showing the love of God. I love to talk about the gospel, but they need it demonstrated like most of us do anyway. And so thank God for that. I just think it's cool. If you'd like to help us and be a part, 844-828-1412. If you'd like to help us and pray, Please pray. And thank you, thank you, thank you for partnering with us. You know, when we get these reports, I have to tell you, I, my cell phone. I finally got a new cell phone. <laughs> One that works finally. 
<laughs> my old one was a little bit rough. And well, because the, the word was old. <laughs> How old was that phone? Well, now, well, it's old. <laughs> one of them, the one that I used for the longest time, they finally said, we're taking all these back because there's no more parts. I, I think it was like a four or something, and I started <laughs> laughing about it. So I've got finally got one. I told everybody I got a new phone, and everybody said, no, we got the benefit of a new phone. Praise <laughs> the Lord. I'm like, that's not nice. Anyway, having said that, um, I get alerts on my phone for updates for these. And now with a nice big phone, I can see all the pretty pictures and it's just amazing that when that goes off and I hear those dings and we open it up, pictures like that, it's just cool. Yeah. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of this ministry, not only in Pakistan, but you know, all the different in, places in that India, we're going. In India, in Ukraine, in Central America, mm -hmm. up near the North Pole in Canada, all the different places that we're reaching out. When you call that number, 844. 828-1412. You can donate right into these kinds of projects and all the things that we're doing for God all the way around the world. That's what this healing ministry is all about. Yeah, I was thinking as you were talking, Lindsay, uh, I came in one night and I said, Lindsay, I love you. And she said, well, if you love me, take out the trash. <laughs> I show did. me, show I me a demonstration. Show a me a demonstration, day. okay? <laughs> I was having a rough day. <laughs> because mm -hmm. I love you are just words, mm -hmm. but there needed to be a demonstration. And Jesus came with the word and with demonstration. And that's what this healing ministry is all about. And what you're seeing just right there in Pakistan with our man in Pakistan, I call him, yeah. Pastor Silas, you're seeing love in action. I'm urging you today, be a part. Call that number, 844-828-1412 and be a part. Now, Lindsay, uh, next week on this program, uh, we're going to have a special anointing yep. oil service. If you receive my letter this month, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, all the oil now has been, been being sent back in by our friends and partners, and we're going to put it in one big container, and next program, next week, I'll be putting my hands in it, praying. Then we're going to put it in little vials and send it back to everyone that wrote in this month mm -hmm. to use as a point of contact. The scripture says here in James 5, and beginning at verse 13, is any among you afflicted or sick, let him pray, let him sing songs. Any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church, let them pray over them, anointing them with oil in the name of the Lord and the prayer of faith, not the prayer of doubt, the prayer of faith shall save the sick person and the Lord will raise them up. We're going to have an anointing oil service. Uh, if you got my letter, you, you, you have time to answer it, but very, very quickly, you need to answer it today. If you did not get the letter, uh, let me know that you want some of the oil uh, from the next week's program. See what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it in a big container and I'm gonna put my hands in it and we're gonna pray over it. And then we're gonna put it in little vials and we're gonna send it back out to people who have written this month as a part of this project. And I believe it'll be a blessing because the oil, Lindsay, is simply a point of contact to help you to release your faith for a miracle. This yeah, is not some kind of gimmick. This is the real thing. container that contained prayer. Yeah. And, and when it's been prayed over, it's not magic. It's no. a container containing prayer. It is, it's a point of contact. It's a point of it contact. It helps you to release your faith for a miracle. So if you did not receive my letter, uh, then be sure and watch next week's program and, uh, uh, and you, can, uh, you can ask for some of the oil. If you receive the letter, answer it real quickly. Get it in the mail as quickly as you can, today if you can. And uh, one week from now, we're gonna have that. Praise God. Praise God. And now, how about prayer? Can we pray for you? I have been so excited about praying and I've been talking about praying from the inside out. The Bible says, stir up your most holy faith. You know, we have, we have not only seen, but we also have participated participated in seeing things that as you hear it about from around the world, as you hear it in your city, as you hear it in your state, even the weather, our weather pattern has been something to behold and we giggle about it, but you know, at times it's really not funny. Well, it, in the past month, Lindsay, we've had, we've had zero temperatures with 15 below as uh, the wind, chill. wind chill and mm -hmm. we've had 70 degrees yeah. within a few days over the past month. That's an 85 <laughs> degree swing. And so it's just been a little bit unusual. And so we're looking at things from the outside and then we, you know, process them. And the Lord really has spoken to me throughout this whole last couple months. Stir up your most holy faith from the inside out. Establish it on the inside. So whatever happens on the outside, we have an opportunity to process it through the opportunity of faith, through the establishment of faith. 
So what I want you to do right now, as we're praying, begin to stir up your most holy faith. Well, I don't have any. Nope, Bible says God's given to every person the That's measure right. of faith. And when you hear the word, faith is enhanced, faith is matured, faith is, is, is built up when you hear the Word of God. We've been preaching the Word of God to you today. So as you stir up your most holy faith, begin to expect a miracle. So I pray for you from the inside out. Yes. First of all, that you stir up your faith and expect a miracle. I pray for your physical body, whatever it is that's contained from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet for you to be healed, whole, and well. I pray for your thoughts, your mind, your will, your emotions, your soul. I pray for your spirit man, if you've never accepted Jesus, I tell the story all the time. I had a friend who accepted Jesus by saying, Jesus, okay. Begin to say okay to the things of God. Give up anything that's unlike God just now. I'm saying, I'm not saying go give something up. I'm saying release it now in your spirit, man, and say, Lord, I release anything that is unlike you, un uh, difficult thinking or thoughts that are unlike God, whatever it is that is an interference between you and God. Just say, just Lord, I release it to you. And Lord, I receive from you healing and wholeness and wellness and anything and everything that you have for me. I receive it now in Jesus name. Amen. And I join my faith with Lindsay. The Bible says that one can put a thousand to flight, but two can put 10,000 to flight. So Lindsay and I have our prayers and they're multiplied together. And I pray over you. I join her in Jesus' name, praying over anything that has come against you, no matter what it is. If it's physical, if it's spiritual, if it's financial, if it's in your emotions, you prayed for mind, will, and emotions in the soul, the soul realm. realm, in any area of your life. I rebuke the devil and command him to take his hands off of you, to loose whatever Satan has tried to put on you. I pray for healing from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, in Jesus' mighty name and I am expecting a miracle. Now that's the key, Lindsay. Once you pray, once you release your faith, then begin to expect a miracle in Jesus' name. Praise God. Thank you so much for helping us in this ministry. We're reaching out to people, as you saw a moment ago, all over the world. Thank you so much. And when you donate this month, I have a special gift for you. For all those of you who donate this month and let me know that you want it, I'll send you a copy of my book, Your Road to a Better Life. I'll show you how to expect a miracle. Just call that number 844-828. 1412 or go to richardroberts.org slash bookstore. Any, anyone who sows into the ministry, ask for a copy of this book, Your Road to a Better Life. I believe it'll be a blessing to you. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being a part of this ministry. As you saw in Pakistan, we get to see pictures like that and things like that from around the world and we just get so excited. But here's the thing I want you to remember more than anything. When you sow, you reap. When you give, you have a Bible right to That's receive. Right. So I pray that the seeds that you have sown, any seeds that you've sown in any way are multiplied back to you in the form of whatever it is you need the most. So I pray for a miracle in Jesus' name. We'll see you next time. God bless. This month, when you give a gift of any amount, we want to give you Richard's book, Your Road to a Better Life. Start this new year with a step-by-step 13-week -step journey that will teach you just that. An investment into your life, a journey to help you discover simple yet life-changing principles that can bring God's miracles to you. Call 1-844-828-1412 or visit richardroberts.org bookstore.